Hello everybody, this is Jaren from marineandreef.com. Today we're doing a product spotlight on the BioHerb Aquariums from Owasa. I brought with me some of my coworkers. This is Lisa, who works in our shipping and billing department, and Amy, who's our warehouse manager. While I don't personally have a BioHerb Aquarium, both of them do, so we brought them on so that they can give you some experience that they've had with their BioHerb, and we're gonna tell you a little bit more about these aquariums in general. Um, so first off, Lisa, what was it about the Biorb that really attracted you? Well, one, it was a gift, but two, actually, I wanted an aquarium, but I didn't know where to start and I was overwhelmed. And the Biorbs were great because everything came with it. It was simple, compact, and it actually goes on a desk easily, so my very large puppy will not easily knock it over. <laughs> you know, the Biorb aquariums are really great. The, the two things that I think make them different than about anything else is they are extremely simple and they also look really, really nice. It's something that looks right at home in a modern, well-designed house, but it isn't super complicated and intimidating to people who are new. And as Lisa said, it was a gift. This is a perfect aquarium to give to somebody who's new and just doesn't know what they're thinking about. It's all in one, it has a lot of flexibility, and it's a great thing that works for that. Uh, now, Amy, I think you actually have two bi orbs. so how did you pick those? My kids picked them. They liked that there was no corners in them, and I liked that it was easy. It was easy to maintain, enough that they should be able to maintain, <laughs> even though they don't. Uh, <laughs> but I have two of the 15 liter tubes right there. So, as you mentioned, you know, it really is a simple, easy to maintain aquarium. And you mentioned there's a tube style, which is this style here. But the biorbs actually come in a wide variety of styles. There's the biorb tubes. The classic biorbs, the biorb halos, the biorb flows, and the biorb lives. Um, they come in a variety of sizes. The largest is the biorb 105, which is just under 30 gallons, and the smallest are the 15 liter biorbs, which are right around 4 gallons of volume. So these make them ideal for places where you don't want a 6 foot long, huge glass box. Whether it's in an apartment or maybe you're moving a lot and you want something that's easy to transport. They're also light because they're acrylic aquariums and all those things make it nice. Um, like Lisa said, it's easy to put it on a counter and not worry about it collapsing because it's a very simple aquarium. Um, with that, we'll just show you what's included when you purchase a Biorb. When you purchase any of the Biorbs, you're going to get the tank itself with a lid on top. And then you're going to get a transformer with two connection points. So it'll only take up one outlet plug. On the top of your aquarium, you're going to get a light. They come in two different versions. One is just a standard light that lights up like a daylight color and lets you see the fish. And then there's the MCR light, which is the light that has a color changing remote and lets you highlight what's inside the tank a bit better. Inside the center of the tank, you're going to get an air driven filter. This is what will filter the aquarium. And you're going to get an air pump to power it. It's going to look like this guy right here. Both the air pump and the light plug into that one single transformer taking up the outlet. Before you fill everything up, you're going to drop in the circular filter cartridge that's included. And then you're going to change this out once a month when you do your regular water changes. The base of the filter is going to be covered by the gravel, which is included with the aquarium as well. And from there, there's probably going to be a few more things you're going to want to add. So in addition to all that included stuff, you're probably gonna to wanna to add some decorations. Most people are going to want to start with a centerpiece to cover the filtration tube. Once you have that centerpiece in and the gravel in place, it really hides that filter very nicely and makes the tank look pretty attractive. And there's a whole variety of other bio decorations, including some of these um, kits here that include everything you'd need. They're a decor set for your aquarium. If you're wondering which decorations you should pick out, every single one of the biorb decorations is labeled by which biorbs it's designed to fit in. Because they come in a variety of sizes, it's possible you could purchase a decoration too big that's not going to fit in there. So on marineandreef.com, we've specified which aquariums that decoration can fit inside. So, Lisa, what did you do when you were decorating your aquarium? When I got mine, we didn't have the decor sets yet, so I was winging it. I was pulling all kinds of things I thought would look good together, and I wasn't really sure. I ended up over-decorating the tank, which is really easy to do because there's so many great looking plants and such you could put in there. Um, so much so you could barely see the fish <laughs> that I had gotten. But, um, 
So like I said, I wish I, we'd had the decor sets when I did it so that I could have maybe started with this as a base and then had ideas and built upon that. Yeah, I've been really excited since we got these because kind of like we said earlier, this is a great aquarium for somebody who's new and somebody who's new may not know how much they should buy or which ones and the sets make it pretty easy. You know, this is designed for this aquarium. It'll fill it up like the picture on the box and then you can add or remove things if you would prefer to, but it's definitely a good base. Um, Amy, I think your kids help decorate theirs. Um, what did they do? My daughter was very min minimalistic. She tried to kind of go off these, but she didn't like all the colors. She wanted to mix up the colors. My son just grabbed plants and loaded it up, and I swear it killed the first round of fish. <laughs> so he took some out, and then it looks a lot better. Yeah, and it's really cool, and it really is lots of fun to customize these. If you're kind of curious what the biomes look like once they're set up, we'd encourage you to look at the pictures of biorbs on Instagram. Whether you look at Biorb or whether you look at Awasa, the manufacturer of the Biorb aquariums, we'll have some nice images of what is possible inside these aquariums once they're decorated and have some fish in them. They really look very modern and attractive, much nicer than what you'd buy at a big box store, and that's something we like about it. Um, in addition to decorating the aquarium, there are a few things we're going to recommend people purchase with that aquarium. The first is going to be the Biorb cleaner pump. This is going to let you drain the tank and vacuum the substrate when you do your monthly cleanings. We really recommend this one over some of the other brands because it's specifically designed to fit inside the Biorbs. Some of them can have a narrower than many aquariums in the opening, so this will fit into that much easier. The other thing we recommend is a cleaning magnet. Now, the magnet we like is the Two Little Fishies Nano Mag because it's designed to cover curved surfaces like the viewing panels of the Biorbs. The only thing with this magnet is it has a Velcro-like surface, and this can scratch the tank. However, whenever you buy a Biorb service kit, switch out monthly, they'll include a pad. If you get that pad and you cut it down, it'll stick to that Velcro, and then it'll very easily go inside the aquarium. This way you won't have to deal with, thank you, deal with getting your hands wet when you go to cleaning. One of the disadvantages of acrylic is that it scratches, but the advantages of it is you can get these really cool shapes, which is what makes the biorbs so awesome. It's the bent corners, the bowl looks, the tubes, that's what makes them very special. They're also very light, yes. so if you are <laughs> moving and you're thing. worried about hauling it around, it's going to be easily a third of the weight of a glass tank which makes this very nice if you're concerned with that. And they don't shatter, there's the other thing with acrylic. So if you have kids or dogs or you're just clumsy like I am, it's less likely that this is gonna fall and totally shatter. Acrylic is much more durable. So those are some reasons why the Biorbs have chosen to do acrylic versus glass. One of the things I loved on it was how easy it was to set up. It took me maybe 20 minutes to have everything from pulling it out of the box to ready to put water in it. I think it took more time on the uh, decorations than anything. Yeah, I mean, you, you always want more time with the fun part of the aquarium, you know, setting it up and looking at it, and less scrubbing, cleaning, and mm -hmm. moving wires and whatnot. Um, one thing we do want to mention is what kind of fish the biorbs are designed for. So in general, we would say the biorbs are designed for tropical community fish and we wouldn't recommend adding more than one inch of fish per gallon. So you can find the gallon ratings of each biorb on marineandreef.com and that'll give you an idea of which fish you can put in. Keep in mind that fish grow, so when you say one inch of fish per gallon, it's one inch of fish when they're grown, otherwise you can wind up with a problem down the road. <laughs> um, so which fish did you guys put in the tank? Uh, Lisa, what do you have uh, yours? My husband fell in love with the betta fish, so that we went with a very colorful blue betta fish named Ike. <laughs> Yeah. These are great for betas if you're looking at those, and I think um, your kids have some different stuff, right Amy? Well, my daughter has a glowfish and a guppy in hers, and she's perfectly happy with that. And then my son has, I'm not sure what kind of catfish, but it's a small little catfish, and it's supposed to, it, it'll grow a little bit more, <laughs> so it's the only thing in there. <laughs> yeah, so there really are a lot of options, as long as you stick with those tropical community fish. And literally there are hundreds of options in there. Um, we would caution you against using a bio for a saltwater aquarium. You may want to stay up, um, step up to something like a BioCube aquarium if you're planning on doing saltwater. If you're interested in the bio of aquariums, please feel free to go to marineandreef.com, browse through our selection of the bio of aquariums, their decorations, the accessories, or you can reach out to us at support at marineandreef.com and we'd be happy to help you with any questions that you have.